Today, we're gonna add the first couple pieces of coral to the Pico tank. What's up, coral people? My name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. I upload reef-related videos once a week, so if you could, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. A couple weeks ago, I revived the office Pico tank. Unfortunately, it wasn't really doing it for me at the office. I thought I was gonna be really cool and impress all of my friends with my coral knowledge and they would be so interested, but the tank just ended up growing a bunch of algae. We weren't in our office as much as I thought we'd be and that's where the Pico tank was. We're in the studio a lot more, so obviously they don't want a Pico reef tank in a studio around all of that equipment. But I got some inspiration. I built a stand for it in the last video and now it is clean. The cords are run nicely. So it's just a little bit more inspirational for me to keep up with it and make sure that we put some good corals in it. Oh, a bit of advice when you are making any kind of stand or shelf with iron pipe fittings. Make sure to seal them. A lot of times they'll come in like a plastic bag and they have grease all over them. You'll wipe all that grease off, and a couple days later, you'll see rust on that iron pipe if you don't properly seal it. Shout out to Tyler from Inland underscore Reef on uh, Instagram. He ended up texting me and was like, hey, make sure you seal those pipes on that stand, and I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. He just made a light stand for his new build out of iron pipe and went through the entire thing, and his dad said the same thing. Make sure you put some clear coat on it. Make sure you seal up those pipes so they don't end up rusting. To some, this is probably just common knowledge, but if you were gonna use that industrial pipe and not decorative pipe, you gotta make sure you seal it. I will link to a video on how to properly seal iron pipe because there's several different ways that you can do it. That link is in the description below. I added some Fritz Turbo Start and also some ammonia to start the cycle two to three weeks ago, and now we're good to go. The tank is cycled, and now we can add those corals. So as we're shopping for corals today, I wanna make sure that we pick out some easy stuff, good indicator corals, and for me, that's gonna be zoanthids, and I'm gonna put a mushroom in this Pico tank as well, just to kinda of get a feel for what's going on, and then we can know over the next couple weeks whether or not to add more, stay, see what's going on. We just wanna get a feel for what this new tank is gonna do. So let's go shopping in the frag tank and see what we can find. If you don't have a frag tank, it's a good idea if you have the space to get a frag tank, because eventually in your display, you're gonna have to frag some corals back as they encroach on each other in the tank, or you're gonna wanna buy, sell, trade with friends in the reefing hobby. So a frag tank is a great place to put all of that extra stuff. And if you ever start up any new tanks, you can do what I'm gonna do and go shopping. So for the past week, I've been kind of wondering what corals I was going to put in this Pico tank. And I decided uh, that I'd just go take a look around and see what I could find. And so it's gonna be pretty Zoa heavy this first time because I have a lot of extra Zoas. Uh, so I'm gonna pick out this Corona Zoa. Has no relation to the coronavirus. This one's called Stairway to Heaven. And I'm sure these all probably have different names given by different vendors, but this is what I bought them as. This is just a Hawaiian PE or Ding Dang. I think these were Keds Reds. They were pretty OG Zoa, but it'll be a good indicator coral for sure. And these green mushrooms have been multiplying like crazy in the frag tank, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of those in the Pico as well. So now that I've got the frags, I'm gonna go ahead and do an abbreviated acclimation of these corals, figure out where I'm gonna put them in the tank, go ahead and clean up the plugs if there's any detritus or buildup of maybe some nuisance algae, things like that to make sure that they go in clean. We'll find a home for each one of these guys. Oh, by the way, if you were looking for an aquascape or some inspiration, check out Aquatic Aptitude on Instagram. She is the one who designed this aquascape and actually sent it to me in the mail. She's like, I love doing Pico aquascapes. I would love to do your Pico tank. And so we got together on it and uh, this aquascape is so cool. And it's perfect for this because I can get the magnet around in there and the, the uh, algae scrubber in there. So it just fits perfectly. And there's even this little, uh, this little llama sculpture here. 
We'll go ahead and get these corals in the tank and then check back in a day or so. What I like to do with any new tank, especially when you're dealing with dry rock, is kind of let these corals sit for the next couple weeks and monitor. Just observe because we haven't reached the uglies phase of this tank yet. And to be totally honest, I really don't know what to expect because I've never had this small of a tank before. So I don't know if the uglies are going to be as bad as they are in a big tank, if they're gonna happen at all, or if they're gonna be a lot easier to maintain because it's a small tank. And I'm also gonna be adding a cleanup crew in the next couple weeks as well. There are a couple different schools of thought on cleanup crews in new tanks. I lean more towards the, I like to see algae or some sort of food for them to eat so they can survive before adding any cleanup crew. But there are other people in the hobby that like to get ahead of any algae outbreaks that may happen and just dump a whole bunch of cleanup crew in there and accept the losses that are going to happen, but potentially get ahead of any algae outbreak that may happen. So here's what the tank looks like today. This is about 24 hours after adding the corals. You can see the coronazoas over there on the left. Got that green shroom. He's moving in nicely down there. Keds, reds, the Hawaiian PE. And the stairway to heaven was out. No, he went back in. That's okay. So far, I really like how this thing's coming along. It's nice to see some life inside the tank now. Makes it feel real. I'm just gonna stick with the easy stuff right now and see how it goes. A couple housekeeping things. I'm gonna make a lid for this out of some sort of leftover acrylic or plastic that I can find. I have an ATO that I could go to if I wanna go that route, an extra one that I'm not using right now, but I just wanna keep this clean look. I really like how it looks right now. The wires just kind of tucked behind it. It's not messy, it's very simple. And unfortunately, unless I build like a tiny little sump or something, there's really no way around messing all of that up with tubes and more wires and things like that. I love the direction that the Pico tank is going. I love that it's up and running and I'm inspired about it and I can't wait to take this Pico journey. Flashback. And in all reality, this build is insanely easy and unbelievably solid. So if you have a two and a half gallon tank that you want to set up or even something smaller like a three to five gallon that didn't come with the stand this is a perfect option for you i went ahead and i mounted the hardware screwed in the legs and boom got a stand so my main concern with this build is i wanted it to be clean and i wanted end of flashback i did a quick check-in with my friends at ocean state aquatics i'm so proud of scott crow <laughs> and Freshwater Joe and Salty Alley and everybody, Chris Kaz at Ocean State Aquatics. Really, really awesome to see that come to life. I seriously feel like it was yesterday that they just announced that they were gonna be doing the Superstore. So they're totally out of the old building into this new building now and it is filled with tanks. They have a sweet display tank with fresh water on one side and salt water on the other. They've just thought of everything in this store and I cannot wait to visit. I say that every time, and of course there's this coronavirus thing going on right now. If there's anybody that knows where I can get like an Iron Man suit or uh, like how could I teleport to Rhode Island for the grand opening of the Superstore, please DM me. My wife and I just finished all the Marvel movies. We went down that marathon. I had never really seen all of them. I'd seen a couple of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, but that's about it. Wasn't really a huge Marvel nerd growing up, but uh, I can see where the fascination is for sure. You know, a couple characters died. I was a little upset about that, but I'm like, you know, this is like the world of comics, so everything could be reversed, right? If you want to get updates on the Pico Tank, follow at Bahama Llama Coral on Instagram, or you can hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification right here on the YouTube channel if you want to support, and then you'll also get notified whenever I upload new videos. For those curious, the new morning show that my partner and I just started on is going well. Other than the sleep schedule, which we are working around, it's coming together quite nicely. And as reefers, this is what we do, right? We start new things and then we grow them out. This new show is like coral. We're gonna make it grow. I suck at metaphors. And something crazy, I'll have to give you an update on this in the next video, but for the show, I went and I got one of those antibody tests for COVID-19. So I'll have to let you know the results of what came back in the next video. But right now there's just not enough research to prove immunity 
if you display COVID antibodies, and there's a lot of false positives too, but you know, it was show content. So anyway, here's some new stuff that you can binge if you're new to the channel. Results in the next video. It's like a bad Maury Povich now. It's bad.